Hey everyone, so I finally got my chance to watch The Way Back. I didn't get my chance to watch it when it was in theaters, but I was able to now. Um, just because it's been a little bit since this movie came out, this movie is going to touch on some of the spoilers of the movies, mainly near kind of like the end of the film and near the end of the review. But without further ado, let's get into The Way Back. So The Way Back is directed by Gavin Connor. It's written by Brad Inglesby and it stars Ben Affleck. And um, after watching this movie, you can tell that Ben Affleck, like this was a very personal movie for him. It touches on, especially kind of with the alcoholism and beating it, overcoming it, finding God, little things like that work its way into the movie. And it seemed very personal for Ben Affleck. And with all of that in this movie, you could tell that, like I do want to say, I haven't seen every Ben Affleck performance, but this easily has to be my favorite performance of him. It, might even be his best. I would, like I said, I haven't seen every single movie, but he did an amazing job in this movie, creating and portraying a really dynamic character who overcomes so much, and it was just a brilliant performance by him. But yeah, this isn't like really a typical sports movie because it strays away from the formula, but it is about Ben Affleck's character, a man who's kind of down on his luck. He's lost his family over the years. He's recently divorced. You find out a little later on in the film that it is because their child passed away at a very young age and so there's some bad blood there and finds out that his wife has moved on and he hasn't at all. He goes to his job at the docks, working hard, and comes home and either drinks at home or drinks at the bar and gets carried up to his house every single night. And he does have some good people along the way, but he always shuts them out and just says, He's too busy, as there's too much going on for his life. He's not ready until he gets offered a coaching job to coach the high school basketball team that he was a star of when he was in high school. And their coach recently stepped down from the role and they need a replacement. So they call him back up because he was this big star back in his day. And it's something too that they know he needs to get out and find something new in his life to inspire him. And for the first little bit, he's so reluctant and he goes through a case of beer just even contempl like it's nothing contemplating the decision. And yeah, he finally takes on the role of coming to coach these kids who have kind of been revered as one of the worst high school basketball teams in the city. So the first, I want to say two acts, definitely take that formulaic approach to sports movies that just works so well because it creates an underdog story and you leave the movie feeling so inspired and happy and it's just good for these characters because they overcome they overcame such a big struggle in their lives so ben affleck's beating alcoholism kind of piecing his life together finding more purpose in his life well same thing with all these kids they're unlocking their potential and you don't get to know too too much about these kids they're kind of almost team tropes at the first little bit there's kids who like dance even though they're losing you have the flirts the people who just haven't unlocked their potential yet they need to become a little louder take on the leadership role and like I said, this movie does focus a lot more on the adult struggles than it does kind of the underdog story of the kids, which it does a really good job at doing. You see some of the elements of Ben Affleck kind of relating to one of these characters almost in a father-like way before it actually reveals what happens to his own son. And starts to create a bit of a family and it just really comes together and it is that formulaic approach that you get for the first little bit but then in the third act everything kind of switches and this is when it became pretty unpredictable what was going to happen next but one of Ben Affleck's like good friends who he's recently reconnected with found out he finds out that his son is in a terminal state and that sends him basically back into alcoholism and he just has one terrible night that costs him everything it costs him the team it costs him a lot of relationships with his friends and some of the family he's reconnecting with this is kind of like the main turning points where it kind of differs from more sports movies where he's at a point where at the beginning of the movie he almost has nothing then he starts to build up and he's beating everything but then it gets taken away from him and then it kind of starts to evolve where this was almost the last straw for him where he vows never to have anything like this happen again. You see him piece his life together. Even after this too, you see the kids, they didn't care about the alcoholism because of what he was doing for them and how much he cared, even though he was late to practice, showing up like half drunk, he was there for them and he knew the mistake. It's just unfortunately the organization he was with didn't want to give him the chance anymore. And the kids are just so inspired by him that they've made the playoffs and they're gonna go out there and like win the games 
for him, not for their current coaching staff, not for themselves. They want to do it for him because of what they did for him. And it's just really, like I said, I felt so inspired after watching the movie. And it was just a really heartfelt film. They had a lot of passion into every single performance, into the story, into how people deal with stress, alcoholism, beating drugs. It just felt like a very real story, especially too, since this movie isn't at least directly cited from any real life event. It's not based on a true story, at least not that I could find, but it's a sports movie that definitely in like the last act kind of swayed away from that approach. And I still liked it, even though it had all the hearts and the good feelings that most sports movies have. I do wish we would have gotten a lot more kind of, of the dynamic of some of the players and like being inner city school, stuff like that. I don't know if it would have maybe flushed like uh, made the movie not seem too too flushed out because there's so much more that they have to pump into the movie and the characters but like for what the movie did it worked really really well and even though like I said you don't get to know too too much about these kids you start to really care for them just because of like you see it in even all of their faces how much they're coming together how happy they are they're unlocking stuff in themselves that they either didn't know was there or just were a little too scared to reach out for like Ben Affleck's character was. And with all this taken together, like I said, this is just a very like relatable movie. It feels really real. It's grounded. It's really solid. And that's why I'm going to give the way back an eight out of 10. This was such a solid film. It's a great sports film. And I think it should be on a list of anything you want to watch to get inspired. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about The Way Back. And as always, you can like my videos down below, leave a comment. You can check out all of my other movie reviews through my playlist below. I'll also kind of link it in the playlist down below. But yeah, awesome guys. Check out The Way Back. It's very well done.